All right, so it's about noon and I'm ready for lunch. So I'm gonna do some pizza bagels. I'm kind of nervous because I'm trying like a new cheese. I might make one without it because I don't know. Um, I just got these like really cheap plain bagels and then I'm using spaghetti sauce, um, this saccharoni. I really like this one and it has bell peppers, like the green ones. So I feel like it goes well. And I just split these like this and I'm gonna also season the sauce with salt, pepper, um, oregano and of course chili flakes we use that for everything and i did buy mushrooms for this but i'm just gonna save that for like when we eat this a different time because i don't feel like dealing with all that i'm hungry and so i'm gonna try this walmart brand cheddar mozzarella shreds and yeah they're vegan i it has really good reviews so you know i'm gonna try it i'm a little bit nervous because i i hate the diet one i can't eat the diet cheese and then i think i'm gonna add some jalapenos on some of them so they're basically just going to be like cheese pizza bagels, but yeah, I'm going to make these real quick. I'll see if I can set it up so you guys can see, but that's difficult, honestly. I couldn't find an angle to set it up so you could watch me make them, but I didn't know how much cheese to use, and I'm doing one without jalapenos, and I made such a mess. Look at that. I spilled the sauce everywhere, but it smells really good. Um, I hope this comes out good. So I think what I'm going to do is I just preheated the oven to 400 and I don't have like a recipe. I don't know how long this is supposed to be for. I'm going to check them at five and then again at 10, maybe turn it to broil to try to melt, um, the vegan cheese. I don't know. I just hope it's good. I tasted the shreds, um, and it tastes pretty good actually. It tastes like cheese, I feel like. So I'm sitting here watching them and, um, it's been about like six minutes, which isn't a lot, but nothing's happened. So I turned it on to broil and I'm just watching like hoping something happens. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm just, I'm kind of like sensitive about it, about like bread and so I need a curtain under there. That is so ugly. I'm gonna figure something out eventually, but I don't know, like the baked, I don't like baked stuff, like baked pasta or anything. Here, I'll turn you this way so you don't gotta look at that crap. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't like baked pasta and like the sauce because it's like baking in here. It's just, it's getting baked. <laughs> I don't like that, so I'm scared. I'll see if I can show you. Look at him being a good boy. <laughs> so this is what I'm looking at. The sauce is baked. You can see there's some on the pan that spilled, but yeah, that's about it so far. It looks like the cheese is actually starting to become something for sure. So I think I rushed the process, but it did kind of start to melt. It was definitely going somewhere, but I don't want this to turn into a burnt chip. So yeah, this is how they came out. I'm nervous to try it. I added some nutritional yeast to this and I would definitely say um, I should have done it on a lower heat for longer, but I was just so hungry. But do you see, let me see if I can get a different angle. Like the parts that melted are really good. So these little dustings are like the nutritional yeast, but look at that melt. So it's the next day. I only slept four hours. Um, <laughs> I'm almost done with my crochet project and I'll show you guys when I finish it, but I'm struggling with it's like a three-parter struggling with the third part and so yeah i can't sleep um crochet has taken over my life it's a problem and i can't sleep anyways the point of this is that i'm about to make my second cup of coffee in the last like 20 minutes because i want to wake up so i can start finishing my project so i'm gonna try something new with my coffee i don't know why i just felt inspired to do this but I'm using this um, as creamer. I'm using this as creamer, Chibani oat milk, extra creamy. And for coffee this morning, I'm doing the blueberry muffin by Duncan. It's all right. Um, I'm gonna get it from Paramount because I've mentioned it before that Paramount is my favorite coffee. I don't know how to do this, but I've just seen people <laughs> like froth milk and add it to their coffee like afterwards. So I'm gonna try frothing my milk in a separate cup and adding it on top. And so I got this frother from Amazon. You can get them for $5, but I wanted the pink one, which was $10, but it's super easy. Comes with batteries and then you just push this button up top. It's awesome. So um, I got that for matcha, but we're gonna do it with my coffee. I'm using my favorite mug, my strawberry one. Okay. I don't know what cup to use for frothing, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna use one of my um, like amber glasses because it's tall, so it won't splash out. But I'm gonna be really careful to not hit the sides because these are my favorite. So I guess I'll do this, should I do this first? No, no, we'll make my coffee first. So, <laughs> it kind of defeats the purpose, but because I'm not using creamer, 
I am going to use three of these little spoons of sugar because I really like my toffee sweet. I'm sorry, okay? When I start working again in a month, I'm gonna only drink hot tea <laughs> and only have coffee on the weekends. That is my plan. We'll see if I accomplish it. Okay, so there's the milk. This is my coffee. So I'm just gonna add this in. I think like the milk gets big, like becomes more when it's frothed. So I am just going to take one of my little mini spoons I use for coffee stirring. I'm gonna stir this. Do you stir in the milk if you froth it? I don't know. I literally don't know what I'm doing or how much milk to use. I'm kind of scared. Maybe, ooh, I, that was probably way too much milk, but here we go. I don't know how long to froth it for either. Ooh. Wow, look, it did make more milk. Did you guys see that? Ooh, I wish I was watching the camera. <laughs> Cause this thing is like half full now. Ooh, all right. I don't know how much I should froth for. Look how much milk this is making. This, if this works, this would actually stretch out your creamer. Like, this just filled the glass. I hope you guys saw that. This is probably plenty frothed. All right, that was, <gasps> that was so cool. It's like whipped cream now. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the angle of me pouring it in. See where I spilled some on the counter? It's like thick. <gasps> Look how thick that is. <gasps> wow. All right, I am converted. Look at that, it's so thick. I don't know if I should stir this. I don't wanna ruin it, but I'm going to. That was literally the cool, where's my coffee? <laughs> where's my coffee? Okay, there's some in there. So apparently I need to do my research on this because I'm intrigued now. Maybe I should film more often when I'm like tired because I feel like I'm chaotic right now. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited to show you guys this, but I finished two crochet projects, all right? So my first one is this pouch, which is currently empty, so it looks terrible, but like this, it can be like a makeup pouch or whatever, like it's a whole thing. I originally sewed it to be a book sleeve, so. I'll show you what that looks like because this specific book is what I use to like measure the amount of stitches. So it looks great <laughs> inside what it's supposed to be holding. Look how cute. I mean, obviously if I used a thicker yarn, you wouldn't be able to see all this. And this is my first project, so it's not perfect. But currently what I decided to use it for instead is putting all my crochet stuff in. So you see this, I have my stitch markers. So I've been putting that inside here, as well as these um, like needle threaders. I have metal and plastic ones. And then all my crochet hooks go right in there perfectly. And you can stitch this shut. Um, the reason I didn't is because I didn't fully follow instructions. And so I don't have a class for this, but it's easy to make one. I'm gonna make more of these. And um, you can also add a button, okay? So that was my first project. Number two is this, a little bow, and it's so cute. I attached it to a bobby pin and put it in my hair like that. Um, but also, I think I wanna put this everywhere. I think I wanna hang them from like the cords on the ceiling fan, you know, and also glue them into, oh, everything. Like my appliances, my fridge, I can make magnets out of these. I'm kind of obsessed. I'm gonna sit here and make a bunch more and also, it might be cute to add it instead of the heart, do the bow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so cute. Yeah, so I'm happy, I'm so happy. Like I, I'll i insert all these pictures and videos of me putting it on my cats because I just love it and it's so cute. And I might even try to like glue it to the back of my phone case. Like, I don't even know. I'm, I don't care about any other project. I think I'm going to sit here and make like a bunch of these. I 
don't have a ton of yarn right now because I'm just beginning and I didn't know I would be able to crochet, but it turns out I can do it and I shall. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud. <laughs>